man, I thought it was absolutely nuts to see this posted. So from CNN, X shape and Milky Way confirmed via Twitter. Scroll down here. When an astro I'm going to skip around. I'll put the link below. When astronomer Dustin Lang tweeted out some galaxy maps he made using publicly available data from NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer in 2015, he wasn't expecting for them to lead to a new way of looking at our galaxy, the Milky Way. All right, so this Melissa Ness, a researcher at the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy in Germany, saw the zoomed-out whole-sky view on Twitter and recognized an X-shaped bulge or tightly packed group of stars found in spiral galaxies in the center of the Milky Way. All right, so the X is... It's the cube, it's everything, it's the four sides of the square, it's, I mean, it's, you got that, right? And then, so if you were to just merge those two, you'd have your, as Reno 911, that TV show used to crack me up, Galdern Star Daniel, right there is what he said, which is, the cube, it's the seal of Saturn, the seal of light, the thing on the north pole, the planet Saturn. And look, I understand about NASA being bullshit and all this kind of stuff, but this is very interesting. And besides, this thing is, is you don't need NASA, all right, to have, it's, it's, just look that shape up, you'll find that ancient cultures all over the world. This thing is all associated with Saturn, it's the X, like I just showed you, it's a big custom deal, right? It's all part of the big symbols that make up our reality. So, it's very interesting because this whole this this whole place is tied to that planet or whatever it is. So for them to say recognized an X-shaped bulge, tightly packed in a group of stars found in the spiral galaxies in the center of the Milky Way, and there's even old myths and theories that Saturn used to be our old sun. But I and whether or not that's true, I I think it is. But whether, whether or not that's the truth or not, what I do believe was, is 100% true is that whatever that is or whatever, who knows what this really is, okay? It's in a different position than what it was a long time ago. Now, you can think of that spiritually, you can think of that physically, you can think of that astronomically or in astrological terms, whatever. I don't know how, what all this really is, but it has a lot has everything to do with what we're what, where we are and the way these things, this whole place is set up and it's funny if you listen here it was simply the most fantastic image of the milky way bulge that i had seen i studied the bulge for my phd and was so well aware that there are numerous works and data that data that demonstrate that there is an underlying x shape in the bulge and in fact it had been modeled in detail from these prior works but with that image that dustin had made we were clearly seeing this X shape directly in a real image of the inner region of the galaxy for the first time. And it's funny they kept mentioning bulge, because I'm not trying to be gross, but this fake Jew, Saturn, Scrum, Masonic, Jesuit order that run and that's running things, they're all about sex. And in fact, one of the things that, one of the many things that the obelisk that's all over the world, it's not the Washington Monument, that thing is all over the world, one of the many things that represents is the penis. Osiris's penis and, and a lot of other stuff represents the vagina. So I find it interesting that, sh that it, they keep mentioning X-shaped bulge, all right? Um, and I thought this was... So the Milky Way is a rotating barred spiral galaxy full of stars, gas, and dust that is 100,000 light years wide. The bulge is at the center, surrounded by a... This is interesting. A flat, pancake-shaped disk with spiral arm extensions. A lot of argument about the shape of the Earth, and I just find that very interesting. Flat, pancake-shaped disk, but that's not what this video is about. It also has a bar of stars moving in a box-shaped orbit around the center, but that's according to the Black Magic Magicians. If that bar... I don't care about the rest of that. And I really... I can't help it, man. I'm very fascinated with this Milky Way stuff, and the Milky Way 
is also called the Great Rift. The Great Rift in astronomy, called the Dark Side Dart Rift, or less commonly Dark River, is a series of over overlapping non-luminous molecular dust clouds that are located between the solar system and the Sagittarius arm of the Milky Way galaxy. And if you look up the definition of rift, it means a crack, a split, or break in something. And when you look at this, I tell you, man, I believe in the firmament, and I believe that this place was flooded because, as in the book of Genesis states, the windows or gates of heaven were open, and I do think the water from above came down and flooded this place, and that this great rift or crack or break really makes me think that that's what this was. This was the crack in the firmament that brought the water down. This is the, the dimensional tear or dimensional rift. And we see it every night, I think. I'm not convinced yet that that's, that's, I'm just very, I'm really a big believer in that. And until I find other stuff, I'm just convinced it's what it is. I'm not convinced that's just the galaxy out there. I think this thing is a dimensional tear that brought in the water from above. And then you have, where is that other one here? The Milky Way hasn't merged with another large galaxy in billions of years. But I think we are about to merge with another dimension, another reality, here very soon. And I think that's what the Twin Towers, one of the, one of the things, again, one of the many things that represented was the merging of two realities into one. So I think it's funny to say, but the Milky Way hasn't merged with another galaxy, yeah, yet. So, you have your, where is that, because uh, I find it interesting, too, that in the UN prayer room, you have the Saturn black cube, oh, this thing's going to be goofy, hold on just a second, let me pull it up, so you have this black, that's the Saturn black cube in the UN prayer room, you see all the, the fractals, and the, because we live in a fractal reality, it's all, we all just have pieces. But here's what looks like a projection. So, you know, Saturn could be the projector. And Lucifer is the prism. It's breaking up the light. So they're taking the, the, the light, the source from, from God, the Father, whatever you want to call it, the Creator. Saturn's using, Saturn's projecting this false light through Lucifer, the prism. And we get this big mess or mess of jumbled up frequencies and tones and colors and signals and it's just a mess now. So I believe in the firmament. The Saturn are really a planet out there. I, I Maybe it's in here with us because people see it through telescopes supposedly, but I haven't seen it myself, so I don't know. That could be a holographic projection. Plus, you're only seeing one side of it if you ever look at the telescope anyway, right? I mean, supposedly the things are all spinning, I think, or whatever, but I just I just don't know, okay? I don't, I really don't know. But I believe in the firmament, and I believe in all that stuff. I really believe that water came down through that thing, and that's what flooded the earth whenever they screwed with their little toy CERN last time, or who, or who knows how long ago that was, but... That's an old machine that's been rebuilt a bunch of times. They're using it now. They're going to use it again. They're going to bring in the same chaos, the same monsters, the same all hell breaking loose that they did last time. And I think it's going to be sooner than later. But what this place is. So thanks for listening to me ramble. I'm sure it was kind of incoherent because I'm kind of bouncing all over the place. But thanks for hanging in there if you made it this long. Kind of a long video. Thanks to my subscribers.